Hello Transformers fans, I am Transformers Knight and I'm bringing you another video review today. This time for Revenge of the Fallen Movie Jolt. Nice figure I guess. As you can see he is a Chevy Volt car which is ironic. His name is Jolt and he's a Volt. Yeah, you can you can, you can kind of see the irony in that. As I mentioned in my barricade review, he's in the carriage, you can see a little robot. There are his legs and his torso. For some reason the movie ones do not have the rubber wheels. Except for maybe, just maybe, possibly, the leader class. Figures. But I only have one, and that's Starscream. Looks very nice. Good Chevy logo right there. Nice grill. Nice. They put a little extra colouring in there for the turn signal on his headlights. The yellow piece right there. Over here, we've got very bulky. Uh, Stop lights, right there. As you can see, it says Volt, right there. Empty license plate. You can go into a customized shop. You can little sticker to put in there. And like two little stickers, one for each side. And that would look cool. The big issue I have is you look inside his um windshield. All you see there is robot pieces. Very nice um, rear view mirrors. He's a somewhat small figure. Here he is next to Wolf of Cybertron Soundwave and MC Mofo as Sean Long calls him or Mudflap and as you can see he's definitely the smallest of the three which is very unrealistic compared to Mudflap because Mudflap is a smart car he's a Chevy truck so he should be smaller but that that's just the way Hasbro made it but he definitely is not the shortest of them. If I can get this like that and then see if I can dance him on top. He's longer than Mud Flop. And he's definitely very much longer than uh, Soundwave. So let's just move these guys out of the way. Show you them real quick. Next to Wolf of Sembertron Bumblebee. He's about the right size. Bumblebee's supposed to be a Volkswagen Beetle. He should be a little shorter. Which he is. And Bumblebee is definitely a mm, couple inches shorter than uh, Jolt. Uh, move that out of the way, and here he is, the feature figure, Joel. Very nice figure, rolls very well. As you can see, there's nothing keeping him, doesn't make him scrape, like, uh, for example, Mudflap, his feet, keep him from rolling very well, you can see his wheels don't turn so that's not a very good thing if you're riding him on cut it all right and to transform Joel. what we do is we untab <clears throat> untab the hood so it comes up like that Take the front and split it in half Bring this piece, bring it all the way down so it looks like a snowplow almost. 
Oh no. Hold that back. Bring these pieces back in. Snap them together as best as you can get them to go. However, you like you can really do with the back whatever you, you want, but to make him more um I've seen a lot of people put him uh, like like that they put this like that and all that on them you take these top pieces you split them you apart and bring them off to the side his arms now you can see his head pull this piece down and around so it's like a little back brace or backpack or whatever and bring these pieces right here bring them down this is just what the instructions say to do just leave them down like that but um I've seen I don't know if it was up to bottom us or here but they brought these pieces I think this is what they did they brought these pieces and they disconnected this and they put these pieces up here so they brought these pieces up back there like that which kind of looks cool but I know Sean which I think is the best movie accurate pose is bring them up here like this like um the star screen stocks which I'll be doing in my tomorrow and re my review tomorrow in one of my reviews tomorrow and um, all that all right so like that I'm gonna take these windows flip them up just like that bend his arms a little so you can tell their arms and they're not the side pieces split his legs apart and then take these pieces and just pull them out oops and his feet come off <clears throat> all right pull them out just like that so that his heel is on the ground flat and then just bring this down to support it the same on this side um that helps him stand up very good um there you have basically the transformation of Jolt. Oh, and I didn't ri um, rate his vehicle mode, but I give it a seven and a half. The only real drawbacks were the robot pieces that were showing. And that's about it. Uh, he's a clear bit blue uh, chest. If I can get the light, you can kind of see that it's clear. But, uh, other than that, he has a lot of articulation. And this guy is like crazy possible. His arms rotate, but because of these pieces, they get hindered. They can rotate all 360 from the ball joint. His wrists, or his elbows, can bend and swivel. Like crazy posable, his fingers don't move, uh, his head, but because of this back piece, it doesn't really work that well. But his head kind of spins left to right and goes up and down. Waist articulation, yay for Hasbro for waist articulation. His legs move in and out and go forward and back. Bend at the knee. They. Oh, I thought they swiveled at the knee. Mine used to swivel at the knee. He somewhat swivels at the knee. Um, he has ankle posability.